Now being a parent, I'm more amazed at what my parents did because I realized how hard it is. I didn't even think about how much they sacrificed, how much they gave up to take my brother and I to tennis tournaments. It was what they wanted to do. They wanted to sacrifice for us, and that's the way I feel about my kids now. When I played on tour, I would go for six weeks on the road and not even think about it. That's just the difference is now being married with kids. If I go for two weeks, I feel so homesick. U.S. Open, for me, I've been there every year, even when I was a kid. I used to go as a fan, so to go from being a fan to a player to now a commentator, it's pretty amazing. It was always my favorite time of the year. It's really difficult to get New Yorkers excited about anything. I feel like they have so many things going on. They've got Broadway, they've got culture, they've got museums, financial district, they've got everything they could, you could possibly want here in New York. So it's tough to, I think, get them riled up about anything, but it seems like for two weeks out of the year, they get excited about tennis. I always wanted to put on a good show. I always have family and friends that would come and, and watch me and so it, it meant a lot to put on a good show and to, to bring my absolute best. And I'm walking out to the biggest stadium that we have in the sport of tennis and people came to, to, to watch me play and entertain them and it was pretty amazing and I was, uh, I was thrilled to be a part of it and that I don't think for, for most people doesn't ever get old. At every stage, I tried to feel like I was the hardest worker for the stage I was in, because I couldn't have survived if I was working as hard as a pro tennis player when I was 14 years old. I think I would have burned out by the time I was 20, but at each stage, I knew how much harder I had to work to get to, to my end goal. 2004 was kind of called the, the trifecta. I broke my neck. I was on the road at the time in Rome, came home, and it was the last six weeks of my dad's life, so I got to spend that with him. So having that six weeks to say a lot of those things was something I'll never forget. After my dad passed on July 3rd, about a week later, got shingles. So it paralyzed the left side of my face, knocked out half of my hearing in my, in my left ear, and messed up my vision and my balance because it affects your inner ear. So it just all sounded pretty scary. And then to vote me Comeback Player of the Year, that made me feel really good. And, and that run to the quarterfinals in 2005 was just... Um, Well, I hope to, to preach the same thing my dad did about hard work and that, that strong work ethic. And I was always impressed that he practiced what he preached, so I want to show my kids the, the same thing, the same thing that dad, dad works hard and kids need to work hard and, and they've got a, hopefully someone to look up to, uh, a role model the way I did in my father. I just want them to be themselves and follow what they love. And my parents gave me that opportunity and supported me in what I wanted to do. So I want them to find something that makes them happy. Whatever they want to do, I, I want to support them and I want them to have something else that they, they do really have a passion for.